welcome back to my channel so today I have my March favorite for you guys oh my dear golly goodness this year is literally just flying by like I can't even explain this but anyway I thought that I'd share with you guys a few of my favorite beauty products for the month of March so if you'd like to see that then just keep watching Okay, so first product, it's definitely not for everybody, but this is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick, or Velour Liquid Lipstick, I should say, in the shade Abused. Oh goodness, this is so beautiful. Like, I have been on the hunt for a beautiful, like, dark, intense, navy, bluish color for a very, very long time. And I recently did pick up Abused, and oh my dear goodness, I love this shade. Like, I've only wore it probably like three or four times, but seriously, I love this shade so much. The formulation on this is quite nice as well. Um, I feel like with Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks, they're about a little bit hit and miss in terms of formulation, but this one is definitely really, really nice, and it smells like sarsaparilla. Ah. So moving on now, I've actually almost used up my Bobbi Brown Correct in the shade Peach. Like I'm literally scraping the edges trying to get some product out. So I was like, okay, I'm going to search my collection and see what other correctors I have. And I did stumble across the Benefit Erase Paste. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. This is in the shade Fair. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. It is more of a salmon tone. Um, it doesn't correct as intensely as the Bobbi Brown one does, but I do feel like it's perfect for every day because it's not too orange, it's more of a salmon tone. I don't really need to use a concealer on the top of it, so it does save me time in the mornings. I love this so, so much. It really does correct my under eye dark circles. Not as much as the Bobbi Brown, but it does do a very, very good job, and I don't need to use a concealer on top of it either. So I love this so much. So you guys know that I love my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. That's a given, but this month I've actually been using my MAC Indian Wood Paint Pot as well. What I do is I use MAC Indian Wood all over my lid using a brush, and then I will use Soft Ochre for the brow bone, and I'll kind of blend them both together, just so I don't have this shade all the way up to my brow bone. But I've been loving the shade. Like, it's just the most beautiful bronze, and it just complements so many different eyeshadows. It's so amazing. Even if you don't use an eyeshadow on top, it's still so, so, so amazing. I love this so much. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, I do appreciate a pretty good contour palette. Um, the one that I've been using this month is the Too Faced Coco Contour Palette. Um, I did film, I did include this in like one of those playing with makeup videos like maybe a year ago. I'll link that down below if you are interested. If you're not, eh. Um, but basically this palette contains four shades. Now, in that video that I filmed like a year ago, I hated this palette. And the reason why I hate this palette is still the same, but I have learned to appreciate the other colors in the palette. So this palette contains four shades and then a brush, which I think is actually a pretty decent brush, um, and then a very, very good sized mirror. The shade that I hate in this palette is the Pop of Light shade, which is this one here. It's seriously a matte shade with glitter in it. Like, the glitter sticks to your face and it's just, it's not a fun time. I never use this shade, ever. But the other three shades in the palette are absolutely phenomenal. The texture is amazing. They're so soft, so smooth. They're not overly pigmented to the point where you cannot blend them out, but they don't lack pigment either where you have to like scrape your brush into it to get product onto your brush. I love this shade for setting underneath my eyes. It is very, very similar to MAC Emphasize, but in my opinion, it's just a smidgen better. Um, and then you've got a cooler tone and a warmer tone bronzer, which I love. I don't really have anything else to say about this palette. It's really, really good. It smells like chocolate. Um, just bear in mind that this shade is not good whatsoever, in my opinion. Um, but overall, I do quite like this palette, besides that one shade. So I love the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I own two shades, Dim Light and Ethereal Light, and they're absolutely stunning powders. But they are also very, very expensive. I was searching the drugstore a little while back and I did come across these models prefer mineral powders. They do look like this. This one in particular is in the shade Soft Focus. I've been using this one almost every single day as my finishing powder. This is absolutely gorgeous and I would say it's very, very similar to the Hourglass powders. These powders are very, very finely milled and they're absolutely stunning on the skin. Like, they're just so, so gorgeous. 
I don't know if you can see that on my hand, but seriously, they are amazing powders. They are still on the pricey side of drugstore. Like I think these are about $21 each, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so for eyebrows, I've been loving these two. This is the Make Up Forever Aqua Brow in the shade 25, and this is the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I love using both of these together. Now, I don't physically mix them together, but I do put the Make Up Forever in my brows first, towards the front, and then towards the back of my brow, I use the Chi Chi. And then it gives me a very, very nice gradient, like how I have in my brows today. I do have reviews of both of these on my channel, so I will link those down below. Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes, I have been absolutely obsessed with the Zoeva Rose Golden palette. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. Seriously, can we just take a moment to appreciate the beauty that is this palette? Like, oh my goodness, it is so gorgeous. I love all the shades in this palette. I really, really, really want to do tutorial using this soon. So comment down below if you'll be interested in that. But yeah, this palette is absolutely stunning. I've been using these shades so often on the daily basis and then if I'm going out at night time or something like that and I want to amp up my look, then I incorporate some of these darker tones over here. Seriously, I'm obsessed with this palette. It's so gorgeous. And I'm definitely picking up some more Zoeva palettes because I have not been disappointed so far. I'm going to quickly mention the Maybelline Matte Maker. Now, this one, it's not like a holy grail ride or die kind of product, but it is a very, very good basic powder. Um, basically what I use this for, and I use the shade Classic Ivory, is I use it to set my under eye concealer and like anywhere that I've used a lighter concealer to highlight my face. So underneath my eyes, down my nose, forehead, chin, that kind of thing. Now this powder doesn't make you matte or keep you matte by any means, at least in my experience, but it does set my concealer really, really well. And that's why I like it. It's not like anything extraordinary but it is a really really nice powder if you're in the market for just a nice affordable under eye setting powder I have been using this one I do also like for the fact that it is pressed so I'm not playing around with loose powders when I'm in a rush in the morning so yeah I really really enjoy that okay guys so that is all my favorites for this month I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe it seriously helped me out so much you guys have no idea and yeah I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.